Well, hello and welcome back to the Simple Quilter. This is kind of unique because um, I've never done this before and I've always been in one with Michelle or with Jared or something like that, but she said, okay, I want you to do the Quick Tip Friday this week. And, and what it's about is about six ways, six little tips for ladies, for your husbands to have something to do and be occupied and hopefully not be completely bored out of their minds while y'all are spending all these hours in quilt shops, which is cool for you to do, but we have to have something to do too. So the first one, <clears throat> make sure that whenever you go to a quilt shop, make sure that your, your husband can park the truck in the shade. Um, that way, if he gets sleepy or something, because I do this all the time, my wife could be in a quilt shop for an hour or more, and that's all right. I don't care. She'd be in there all day as far as I'm concerned. But I like to be able to park in the shade, so that way if I want to roll down the windows and take a nap, I can just roll down the windows and take a nap. So that's tip number one. Tip number two goes right along with that one. Bring, make sure that your husband has a pillow. Um, if you've ever tried to sleep in a pickup, or I guess maybe a car, I don't know because I don't have a car. But if you've ever tried to sleep in a pickup, you kind of need a way to get your head over here like this so it's not completely like that, or your husband's going to get a, a crick in his neck. So you have to be able to support the neck during the nap time in the shade. Okay. Tip number three. Make sure you bring him some snacks. Um, and and not like um, girly snacks. You know, bring like beef jerky or um, Fritos. Um, you know, something like that. Um, cookies are always a good option. Um, I'm trying to think what else Michelle makes that's really, really good. Every, everything she makes is pretty good, but cookies are good, things like that. So snacks and, and snacks are like, I mean, that can be different for everybody. Not everybody might like my kind of snacks. I don't know. Okay. So tip number four, you need to keep your husband hydrated. <clears throat> bring some drinks um probably not alcoholic beverages because I mean, you might be driving right <laughs> we all know that alcohol and driving don't mix you're not supposed to do that and if it's kind of warm outside you run a pretty good risk of getting he de dehydrated while you're taking your naps in your truck i mean it could happen so what you do is you you know, get some water bottles, put the flavor thingies in it. Um, my personal favorite is Diet Mountain Dew, although it's being quickly surpassed by Diet a and W Root Beer. Um, those are my favorite drinks. Sometimes just in the bottle. Sometimes I want it with ice. Okay, I, I kind of forgot what number we're on. I think that was five. So this is, okay, this is number five right here. Make sure that your husband has fully charged his phone. And preferably, make, you know, try to make sure you got one of those little portable phone chargers with you or you can plug it into the car or something. But, but like in some places, they may have a place where, you're, where your husband can take naps. We went to this place one time in Missouri and they had a whole man area, but there was no place to charge your phone. So sometimes when Michelle is inside the quilt shops, <clears throat> I like to watch movies. My other favorite thing is to watch her videos from from the the um the simple quilter. <laughs> but I like to watch movies too. And I think we all know how fast you know streaming videos can eat up a phone battery, right? So make sure that you have a way to keep your phone charged. Tip number six. And this is for the larger areas. Um, maybe help your husband see if there's any like 
shops that he might like to go to while you're quilt shopping. So he can be like, okay, I'm going to drop you off here and then I'm going to go to Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's or Shields or, I, to be honest with you, I prefer the, the small um, locally owned gun shops myself. I don't like going to the chain stores. I, I like to go there and look. But typically if I'm going to buy something that's going to come from a, a smaller shop um, or if that's not their thing, maybe they like to go fishing. So they can go look at fishing stuff or maybe cars are their thing or motorcycles. You know, go look at, at motorcycles in a motorcycle shop. Um, boats are always fun to look at and like, oh man, I'd like to have this bad boy right here. You know, you can always, or maybe you do, or go look at the accessories for, for these type, types of things if you already have some. But anyways, that's just a few little tips to help keep your husband happy on your quilt shopping adventures i hope you enjoyed this um because this is what michelle always says so i'm gonna say it too leave a comment she likes to get the comments and she always responds to them um like and share and subscribe tell a friend telegraph tell your buddies or something but most importantly have fun quilting.